I'd like to take a minute now and um, really talk about the ways God prepared me for what I just spoke about, about my son's death. Um, I was very blessed before, four years before his overdose, to get involved with a uh, recovery ministry at my church. And I walked in one day thinking, I'm just going to go listen to some good music and hear my ex-husband play. And when I walked in, realized that that's really where I needed to be because God had a lot of work to do on me before this happened with my son. Um, I had dealt with clinical depression from a very early age. Um, I think my first suicide attempt was 13 and my last suicide attempt was at 38. So um, I know if God had not put me in that place to work on the guilt, the shame, the what could I have done different, did I do everything I could have done to help my son, I have no doubt in my mind that the day that I found my son, I probably, well, it's not probably, I would have committed suicide um, because it was really more than I on my own could have ever bared. But thank God he saw on the other side of that and, and knew what I needed way before I ever knew what I needed. Um, so I'm very thankful that God showed me um, that in him, you can get through anything. You can get through whatever the liar tries to take from you, um, even in death, even in death. You know, I, I wish that my son had understood that surrendering everything to God, everything, even the addiction, whatever hurt that it was that led him to the drug, Whatever it was, there's hope in Christ. And that's the only hope we have. Um, I know without a doubt that's the only hope I've ever had. When I look back over my life and the things I've overcome because of Him, um, through what he, he did for me at the cross. And, you know, I realize now there's no condemnation. There's no condemnation for the things I did wrong that stuff's already been forgiven. And it was through this program that he sent me to help me realize that, that I had a choice. I had a choice to trust him. I had a choice to realize that I continue to live in misery. And that's not what he wants for anybody. It's not what he wanted for me. It wasn't what he wanted for my son and his addiction. Um, you know, the liar tried to make me think through death and through lying to my son with the drug and saying, you can just do the drug one more time. You're going to go to treatment on Monday. Do it one more time. You can do it. Um, he lied to my son, and my son believed that, and he baited the hook for my son with that. But what he didn't realize is that God already won that battle. My son's in heaven. I don't have to worry today about whether he's sick, whether he's hungry, whether he's cold, because he's on the, in the streets of heaven with God. And there's more peace there than I can ever imagine here on this earth. And is it hard? It's very hard. It's very hard to have days to think, I just want to touch my son. I just want to hear his voice. And the things that when I'm having those days, God always gives me something, always, to let me know that my son's at peace, that he's okay, and that I'm okay. Um, I could go on and on about what he's done in the past six months to give me that peace. I've had numerous people that knew him when he was incarcerated um, message me and tell me, you know, about the Bible studies they had in, in jail. Um, tell me about the things that he talked about with them the day that he got released that all he wanted to do was get out of jail and give his mom a hug. Um, I can sit and look at the pictures I had that week before. It was the best week, again, I ever had with him in years. And I wouldn't trade those memories for anything 
and I would not ever want him to come back here and have to fight with self-will and the battle of addiction again, ever. Um, you know, he's, he's made a way for me to go out and for me to realize that when I told my son, you know, God's got a plan and a purpose for you. He's made it very evident for me that my son still has a, he has a plan and a purpose for my son's story. It's just not the way I thought.